all know how to do bead roll. There are some bead rolls which are better than others, and there are some bead rolls which are not as good as the others. So in this particular video, I'm gonna show you guys three hacks of how to do proper bead roll. And with that being said, what's up guys? It's is Sammy here. Welcome to my invest video. I hope you guys are doing well. And with that being said, let's just start. Okay, so now is the time for the first hack. The first hack is very simple. All you need to do is add some motion in your video. We all know when an object is static in a video, it is very boring. But when you add some dynamic value in the video, the attraction value for the audience instantly increases. Which means that if there is some amount of movement in the whole video, then your video will automatically stand out better. Now the second hack is using some glass in your video. So using some glass in your videos can really make your video different from everybody else. And there is no proper fixed instrument or fixed object to actually place in front of your lens to make a proper effect. You can play with any kind of objects. It can be a piece of glass, it can be a prism, it can be anything which is reflective, which is a little bit transparent or translucent. And all you need to do is place it in front of camera lens, move it in some way or the other, and then remove it from the camera lens frame. And then what you need to do is you need to just increase the speed at which your camera focuses as a part of a speed ramping kind of effect. Just speed that particular portion of the video where the camera focuses and then place it according to your beats of the song. And then it will look really really awesome. The third hack is similar to the second hack but it's kind of different because we are going to use some opaque object in front of your lens. Using some opaque object really gives a little bit of depth in your video. Moreover, it helps you learn the concept of framing way more than anything else. The fourth hack is very simple and it is the speed ramping transition. We all know what is a speed ramping transition where the first clip is short and then moved to one side and the second clip is short from this side and then the main clip starts. And then you speed up the later portion of the first clip and the first portion of the later clip and then combine it together to form a proper effect called speed ramping. But while shooting the second video of the effect, you might notice that when you move the camera to your object, there might be some amount of jitter while you focus on the object. So in order to reduce or prevent that from happening, just do this trick. It is pretty awesome actually. Just start with clicking the video of the object and then move in later. And then in the post processing, just reverse the second clip. So with that what you are doing is, just reversing the clips instantly gives you that opposite kind of effect which is needed in speed ramping. Moreover, your focusing is done accurately and properly without any jitters. So at the end of the day, you get a flawless speed ramping effect. The fourth hack is very simple because most of you already know it because all of you must be watching Peter McKinnon's videos and that is use slow motion videos for your B-rolls. But that is not a necessity. Everyone doesn't like slow motion and there are some people who like to have a fast moving B-roll. So what you can do is shoot in 30 FPS and then slow it down to 80%. 80% of 30 FPS is not exactly slow motion but it will definitely smoothen your video up. Moreover, when you reduce the speed to 80%, the footage looks way more cinematic than when it was in 30 FPS. So that is the fifth hack. The sixth hack is called rack focus effect. I've already made a video on rack focus effect, you can check the link down below or in the card above. So that is the rack focus effect. Rack focus effect is very simple but you can do it in camera as well. And it will save you some time in post processing. So what you can do is, take the camera to manual focus, then focus on your object and then move behind. In such a way that it will automatically defocus because it is in manual focus. And then what you can do is in post processing, just reverse the clip. Reversing the clip will automatically show from defocused area to focused area. And if you speed the defocused area, then the footage will look way more cinematic and it will look really, really good. The last hack is the rotating hack. We all know how difficult it is to rotate our cameras to give a proper kind of effect. And when you use a gimbal, it is much more simpler. But when you don't have a gimbal, this is what you should do. Just hold your camera with your left hand or right hand, whichever hand you're shooting, and then hold your lens in such a position where the surface is very smooth and it is not touching the focus rim. And then hold in that particular region and keeping your hand very, very firm, tilt your camera so that you get a rotating effect. And this will really, really top all the jitters from your footage and also smoother now some of the footage and allow this warp stabilizer in Premiere Pro and normal stabilization software in Final Cut Pro it will definitely get the job done and you will get a proper seamless rotating effect for your videos. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you have liked the video. If you are someone who is interested in cinematography, photography and filmmaking then join my channel. It's the right, right, right thing for you to do. So come let's join our hands and expand our family as much as we can. And do let me know in the comment section down below about what you are creating today. Peace.